Okay. I haven't slept in two days. I'm like overtired. I cannot. I can't sleep. And yet I need it so bad. Um, I'm still pretty doped up on all this medication and my mouth is still funky. I'm going to be a zombie tomorrow. So I'm thinking I should just go ahead and do another little recording, even though my voice is funny. Well, my voice isn't funny, it's just I still have that packing stuff in my mouth, you know. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's even better, because I'm like on a whole new tangent now. Instead of working backwards, I'm going to start working forwards. Like, never mind. But every time I take a step out of this room, I crash into something. Because there's baby gates everywhere, and like every single door has a baby gate on it, and um, I never know if they're closed or open, and I don't even, I forget they're there. Every time I open this door and try to go out of this room, I trip and fall. <laughs> Same with the bathroom. Um, okay. I don't have anything to say, so I'm going to read one of my older blogs here. What a handy little convenient fun thing that is. Just to be able to cuddle up with some tea and get out my microphone and ramble and read an old blog. That is like lazy delight. And I can still technically call it a video, you know? And someone will actually listen to it and possibly even be entertained. Life is pretty good. Okay. I wrote this on Saturday, March 1st, 2008. Back in 05, when I lived in the little white house where I got West Nile that resulted in my mental blowout that tossed me to the curb right out of my own life, resulting in my current state of unemployment and general cluelessness, but only in the physical realm. And there's a little picture of a little white house with a mosquito over it. I had all of my old journals safely hidden away in a fireproof document box that I had stolen from my dad a long time ago. Actually, I didn't steal it from him. He had given it to me when I was in, um, I was taking some college design classes. But he took it back. So I took it back years later. But really, he had already given it to me, so I didn't steal it. All my notes and ramblings and ripped up journals were inside, and I planned on never opening the box ever again. In fact, when I moved to the little white house where infected mosquitoes dwelt, I locked said box and threw away the key. And then there's a picture of the box. Well, it's not the actual box. I googled it and got the picture. And buried it in my backyard among the row of junipers that I planted. Pretty little ever pretty little bushy evergreens that I hoped would grow fast to hide my yard and cover up the hideous view that tormented me. A tractor some logs and a spiral staircase laying flat on its side. And let me just clarify that. That was in the yard on the other side of my yard. It's like this huge, like my yard backed up to this yard where somebody kept his tractor. And that yard backed up to a feed store. So, um,. I don't know what you call it, just a tractor yard, I guess, and the fence was really hideous, and one day just this spiral staircase appeared, and and this man also would cut down trees and stuff and haul them there, so we had these huge piles of dead trees and a spiral staircase, and I just knew it was only a matter of time before snakes started appearing, and sure enough, the granddaddy snake of them all it did appear in my yard. But that's another story. This is going to sound terrible. I don't care. I'm going to go on a whole new tangent with this. I'm going to see how bad I can really be. Okay. I was going to leave the box buried there in an effort to leave it all behind. That is until one night when my daughter's boyfriend came over. 
and he had had a dream about Jesus and he was sort of upset about some things and had some questions so I asked him to help me dig up my box so I could read him my story it took a while to dig it up I held the flashlight and he dug he was laughing and wondering what on earth does this have to do with anything and I was like just keep digging then he finally got to it and we got it up and I unwrapped it and it stank even though I had it all wrapped up in trash, trash bags and then I put a little toothpaste for dinner cartoon on there I was like this little boy is holding a jar and another older boy is going up to him and he's saying wait don't open that jar it contains the world's sorrows at the bottom it says but it was too late and it took like an hour to clean it up I love those toothpaste for dinner cartoons they're so funny okay and I read him my story that night and he accepted Christ it was a really cool evening and so this got me to thinking maybe I shouldn't have it buried so I rewrote it and condensed it and tweaked it and expanded it and made it just right in parentheses when I say tweaked I don't mean I lied about anything I just made it flow better and that got the ball rolling ball rolling did I say bull? <laughs> and that got the ball rolling in a wild and woolly direction I started sharing it and then all these things started happening it was amazing and long story short it all snowballed out of control until I landed here in this very spot with a laptop and no job typing telling you whoever takes the time to read what happened to me and then I go nuts starting posting links like links and links and links to all these other blogs I wrote I sort of had to lean on a lot of people during the past year now it's two years but mainly God when I was still on the seizure meds about a month after it all happened mental blowout I had a brief vision of being held up by an angel I was completely limp and the angel stood right behind me with his her arms wrapped around me holding me in an upright position and I was reminded of God's promise to me I will lift you up I will lift you up that's what he said to me which turned out to be something completely different than what I thought he meant by that as it turns out all this time I've been writing this past year and I thought I was just getting it all out not realizing what I was doing but it's all come together and it looks like I've accidentally started something see what happens when you dig up things that were buried oh and I forgot to say it was funny how I got the box open I used a screwdriver and a rock I'm sort of butch like that and then I put those song lyrics from lean on me lean on me when you're not strong I'll be your friend and I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on And then I put a little picture of Jesus holding, um, hugging this guy who apparently just got to heaven, I think. I think that's what it's supposed to be. And then it says, just to come clean on my ultimate mission so I don't feel so shady, I do aim to win souls for his kingdom and I'll never stop. I was shown in a vision in 05 a glass container and beautiful gold round things were dropping in one by one. And God said that they were markers for the souls that are being one. Yeah, people, he's keeping track. Everything we do for him. Just keep going already. Everything matters. But then again, there's days when I wish something would just come along and wipe me out and take me on home. And that's all I know for now. <sighs> okay. I'm going to stop it here and just play like I just made a video and post it probably. <laughs>